Okay, so let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so when glancing at this, you um, you don't really want to integrate it with respect to y first because here you've got y here and y here buried inside a fraction. Um, it's much easier to integrate it with respect to x first because uh, you've got an x here, then you can treat this whole thing here as a constant. So, so ultimately, you want to switch these two around. But before you can do that, you need to understand your region of integration. So uh, let's try and understand our region. Um, this is saying move parallel to the y-axis. So we're moving along like this. We're moving along like this. So that means this is going to be y equals something, y equals something. So that, so that this y here matches up with this dy. So you're moving along like this. Um, you, we, we have no idea what our region looks like. So let's, let's just sketch this, uh, this graph, y equals 4 minus x squared, which will look like this. Uh, intercept of 4. Uh, this must be a 2 because 2 squared is 4 and then 4 minus 4 is 0. So this must be a 2. Um, so what this means is move parallel to the y-axis. So you're moving along parallel to the y-axis like this. And it's saying move from 0 to the line. So it's saying move ze from 0 to the line. From 0 to the line. So it's saying move 0 from 0 to the line, from 0 to the line. And then you're scanning from 2 to, uh, sorry, you're scanning from 0 to 2. You're scanning from 0 to 2. So your region turns out to be this region here. Okay, so, so we want to switch these two around. Now we understand the region, so let's switch those two around. Hang on. So our region is, uh, is this region here. We want to switch these two around because we want to integrate this with respect to x first. We want to switch these two around so it looks like this. But um, but now uh, we need to translate this. Hang on. Well, we're doing it uh, parallel to the x-axis, so we're moving along like this. We're moving along like this. We're moving along like this. So what that means is this must be x equals something. x equals something. So this x here must match up with this dx here. Um, and then we, we, where, we, well, we're moving like this, parallel to the x-axis. Uh, x so that means we start at x equals zero and end at the line. We start at x equals zero and we we stop at the line, at this line. Well, this line here. Well, let's rearrange it to make x the subject. So um, so that so x equals uh, x squared equals four minus y square root both sides. Uh, when you square root both sides, you get the positive version and the negative version. Uh, we don't really care about the negative side. We only care about the positive side. So really, it's f we, we can ignore the negative here. So it's like this. So that means it's um, uh, x equals root 4 minus y. So we integrate, we're integrating from x equals 0 to the line. So we're integra integrating from x equals 0 to the line x equals 0 to the line and we're scanning from 0 to 4 because we're scanning like this we're scanning like this we're scanning like this from 0 to 4 so that means well that means uh, this must be y equals something y equals something we're scanning from 0 to 4 we're scanning from 0 to 4 so now this thing here can be translated to uh, to this so we are currently at this stage here Okay, so now, now the rest should be easy. Um, we are currently here. So now we can integrate this with respect to x first. So uh, looking at this block, um, this thing here is x, this whole thing here is a constant. So, um, so when you integrate it, it will be x squared a half, like this. Well, anyway, when you integrate this with respect to x, it will become this thing here. Okay, because... Um, Imagine this whole block here as a block, and then you've got a block of x here. So when you integrate it, it will be, well, remember this block is a constant, so it will be this, um, and then a half. So it will be this block here over 2. So that's where this 2 comes from, this 2 here. Well, anyway, think about it. When you integrate this, it will become this. And we're integrating 
from zero to this thing here from zero to this thing here and then now well we can put this thing here into here and then uh, that will then give us that will then give us this thing here and then we take away and then put zero into here uh, the whole thing would be zero so uh, you take away zero so so that will then take us to here and then we've got to um, tidy this up hang on uh, this is exactly the same as this so these two cancel each other out giving you this integrate this it will then give you it will then give you this and then put 4 into here so that would be e to the power of 8 over 4 and then take away put 0 into here that would be this thing here so your overall answer would be this okay